In this video, I'm going to be showing you how all the pros get zero input delay and insane frames in the new Fortnite season. Just take a look at my FPS and look how much this will increase at the end of the video. Before the video starts, I want to thank everyone for getting me to 200 subs. It's actually crazy how I've gone up like 180 subs in the past week just from posting two videos. So if you do find this video helpful, please subscribe because only 1% of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if this helps you out, make sure you share this video with your grandma so she can become a tier 1 pro in Fortnite. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is going onto our Fortnite settings and making sure that we've selected DirectX 11, not performance mode. I know this sounds crazy, but I'm going to explain why in a minute. Once you've selected this, click apply and then click restart now. Now that you've restarted your game, you're going to go back into your Fortnite settings and you're going to notice that there's all these new settings on DX11. You're going to make sure that your anti-aliasing and super resolution is turned off. Then you're going to scroll down and if any of these are on, you're going to turn these off. Then you're going to scroll down even more until you see Nvidia Reflex Low Latency and you're going to put this on ON or ON Plus Boost. You can go into creative and test out which one works best for you. And once you've done this, click apply and then you can close out of these settings and put your game back onto performance mode. The next thing we're going to be doing is going onto the search bar and typing in Windows PowerShell. Once you've found this, you're going to click run as administrator. Once this is loaded up, you're going to paste this command from the description into here and wait for this to load up. Once this is loaded up, don't panic. I know this looks confusing, but all you have to do in here is click tweaks, then click on desktop and then click run tweaks. Once you've done this, you can open up this page that opened when you first opened the PowerShell and when it's finished, it should say tweaks are finished and you can close out of this. As you can see, after we've finished doing this optimization, our FPS is now almost reaching 500 and your input delay will feel much lower. That's it for this video guys, if this did help you out and you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe and like the video because as you know I'm trying to get 500 subs before the end of April so if you could help me out this would mean a lot to me and I hope you all have an amazing day.